in the nation for people living with HIV or AIDS. That's why health officials are urging you to know your status this World AIDS Day. WJCL's Asha Lincoln talked with health officials and has a closer look at the numbers here in the Coastal Empire. Well, Kevin and Jennifer, health officials say although people are living longer with the virus, the number of new cases continues to increase. It's a day that was started more than 20 years ago in 1986. But well, today is World AIDS Day. Its mission is still the same, educate and inform people about HIV and AIDS. Definitely a way for us to educate the community, to let them know that the disease is still rampant in our communities and an effort for us to end this horrible disease. An end that starts with knowing your status. Throughout the city, many organizations held free HIV and AIDS testing. And our whole goal is to, again, get them to know their status, to get them tested. Testing that showed Georgia's coastal counties ranking number two in the state for the number of HIV and AIDS related cases. But we are seeing the rising numbers. I think we're seeing an increase in younger kids coming in who are positive, newly um, out of high school. The Chatham County Health Department says there's been an increase in the number of new HIV and AIDS cases in the state of Georgia. More than 30,000 cases were reported in 2005. Now more than 50,000 cases have been reported. And although health officials say people are living longer with the virus, the numbers are still on the rise. It's become comfortable. I think individuals think that it's gone away. Uh, with all the new medications and the non-detectable viral loads, individuals think that it's not existing and it still does. In existence, health officials are trying to erase. An AIDS-free generation. And the awareness continues this weekend. There will be an AIDS walk this Saturday at 8 a.m. at Forsyth Park. Kevin and Jennifer. All right. Appreciate Thanks, it. Ashley. Thanks, Ashley.